guys, it's Rachel again at the Frank Buck Zoo. I thought today we would talk a little bit about what our zoo staff does to keep our animal family safe during periods of inclement weather. Here in North Central Texas, flooding is the main issue we have to worry about at our zoo. This comes from two sources. So of course, we do get a lot of rain here sometimes, and that can back up in low points of the zoo and cause flooding in some exhibits in those areas. But we also are located along the Elm Fork of the Trinity River. That runs right behind us. And when we get a lot of rain places west of here, such as Wichita Falls, that all flows down behind the zoo and can cause that river to rise very rapidly. If the river gets high enough, it can also cause water to come into the zoo. So we kind of have two reasons we need to watch the weather here um, in terms of flooding. Now we do get other severe events sometimes, um, ice storms, um, tornadoes and things, and we take a lot of similar actions to respond to those events, but today we're gonna focus on flooding. When any sort of inclement weather is expected, zoo staff is constantly monitoring current conditions. This can even mean staying up all night, keeping an eye on what's going on at the zoo. Um, we assess things like temperature, winds, rain, river level, all sorts of factors to determine when we need to start taking actions to keep our animal family members safe. If possible, we want to avoid disrupting zoo operations too much with actions that we take. So the first steps usually involve opening or closing a series of storm drains that we have around the zoo and using an emergency pump system to bring water out of the low-lying areas and pump it back out into the river so that the bottom of the zoo stays dry. If at any point uh, during weather monitoring staff decides that further action is needed to keep our animal family members safe, we have an all hands on deck situation. Staff members are great about coming in even after hours, sometimes even at night, um, and helping each other out uh, to take care of everyone's animals and make sure everyone is safe, happy, and secure during these periods of inclement weather. Fortunately, most of our animals here have either part or all of their exhibits um, in upland areas that are not prone to flooding. For these animals, taking care of them during inclement weather is relatively simple. We make sure that they all have um, adequate shelter, dry bedding, heat sources if they need it, um, their regular food and enrichment items, and they can kind of just shelter in place until conditions improve. For animals that live in lower lying areas that might be prone to flooding, we take this opportunity to move them out of harm's way. For domestic animals, such as our donkey and camel, this can be as simple as haltering them up and leading them to a new exhibit that's at a higher area. Our animal care staff work with these animals on this training every single day. They have a great relationship with these animals, so the animals trust them and are always eager and ready to go when it's time to move to a new area. Moving some of our small exotic animals isn't quite as easy, but we've found ways to make it a positive experience for everyone. Animals such as our foxes, Joffrey's cat, and Patagonian cavies are some examples of smaller animals that live in low-lying areas. When we have flooding, we need to move them up to behind-the-scenes areas that aren't low-lying where they will be safe. To accomplish this, these animals are put in travel crates to move to those locations. For the animals that I take care of, such as the small carnivores, we practice these crating behaviors every single day these behaviors they have learned through positive reinforcement training. That means that every time they willingly go in the crate, lots of good things happen to them. They get snacks, they get attention. It's a very exciting experience. If they don't choose to go into the crate, nothing bad happens. But over time, they learn that the crate is a positive um, and comfortable place for them to go. So when we open that door for them to go in uh, during a severe weather event, They've practiced this hundreds and hundreds of times, and so they're very comfortable and secure going in there. Once these small animals have crated, we move them to a behind the scenes location that's safe. We make sure that they have plenty of bedding, their normal food, water, and sometimes even a tasty snack to keep them busy while we assess the conditions. Some evacuations may be as short as a few hours. In these cases, the animals can stay in their travel crates, with all the goodies that we provide for them until it's time to go back. Some evacuations are long, which can be days or even weeks. If this happens, we have the ability to move the animals from their travel crates into other exhibits behind the scenes that are safe for them to be in at that time. Each case is different, so we're constantly assessing what actions are in the best interest of our animal family members. 
Once we have decided that conditions are safe for the animals to return to their normal habitats, we repeat the entire process in reverse to get everybody back on exhibit and resume zoo operations as normal. Hopefully this video has given you a better idea of the proactive steps that the Frank Buck Zoo takes to keep our animal family safe during periods of inclement weather. As you can see, maintaining a stress-free and safe experience is our number one priority for both animals and staff that are involved. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.